Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And today we have non-league the Premier League with Kirsten Ashton and today we're up against Daily Bird Celtic, one of our local derbies. So hopefully we can nick three points. They're down in 22nd in the league. We are sitting 10th in the league. I see two points off the playoff spots where Lou off are currently and Harrogate are currently holding on. We're 11 points still off the league leaders Stockport. Now originally that was Kidderminster but you know things happen and we'll show you what happened so since you guys were last with us which was Bradford PA we haven't played many games so we beat Boston United 2-0 Kenny and Chambers with the goals then we went and drew threes with Chorley we were 3-0 up at half time Chorley didn't even have a shot on target they didn't even attempt in our goal in the first half and the second half they absolutely destroyed us absolutely destroyed us we then lost 2-0 in the FA Cup qualifier to Coville now we didn't play our first team as you can see these were pretty much our reserves a few of our first team were there but it was basically a reserve squad and we kept our basically because last season we got an FA Cup run to the first n proper first round and that killed our league so this season I was like I'm not really going to concentrate in the FA Cup if we get to the, the proper FA Cup, fair enough, but we don't, I'll play my reserves until then. And if we don't make it, we can concentrate on getting in the league because we've been struggling this season, as you can see by all this freaking red and yellow. So we went away against Kidderminster, who were league leaders at this stage, and we destroyed them 5 0. Yes, 5 goals 0, and Kidderminster were top and then dropped the second. Then we went out against Chester, who were fifth in the table. We were again cruising at 2-0 and they came back to draw two each now we need to really need to stop that from happening it's happening a little bit too often so we're stuck with a 4-4-2 formation uh, Alan what are you doing so oh, where is it so here we go this is our team for today if I can get it up there we go so we stuck with Rosario back in goals Gokic had a shocker against Coville who are below Division, couple of division below us, so Gokki has been dropped big time. Rosario comes back in the goals. Defensive line of Booker, Chuck, who's been unbelievable. Did get an injury in the last game. He is fit to play today, but we'll see how long he lasts with Brady and the do. Then up in the midfield, we got Jacobs, Lawton, Kenny, because Adamson is on international duty. So Kenny comes back in and Chambers are on that right. With David Off and Pike, who seem to be creating a nice little partnership up front when they decide to pass to each other which is not very often on the bench we got Greenage, we got Harbert who's asking for first team football he was going to start today but Chuck's fit so I'd rather play Chris Chuck rather than Jim Harbert but obviously he can come on for him later on Almeida, Kinsella and Adam Curry that is going to be our team to play Stilly Bridge Celtic let's get stuck into it and see if we can pick up a nice three points because we really need three more points. I was hoping that we were going to beat Chester. And that would have given us a nice foothold to get in through the playoffs. But no, we messed up as usual. So, let the assistant do the ha starting team talk. Nobody got any excitement out of that. Stilly Bridge Celtic are in the blue and white. And we are in our gorgeous uh, funny green colour with black shorts and to be fair we haven't done very much <laughs> um we've had a few people want to leave the club so um adam nickel one of our 16 year olds wants to leave because he's not getting first team football he's 16. he doesn't fit in the squad we don't play defensive midfielders so he doesn't fit in and adamson wants to leave the bigger club but uh, no offers are coming for him so that's good news pike oh good challenge and there's a few players that don't normally play that you won't even have seen yet the while leave so it's all right david off oh what a goal i was talking and just looked up to see the score fly in the back of net oh dennis david off what a goal he hasn't been scoring goals until he scored those two and it all came from the header from brady he finds young jacobs jacobs cuts it inside the pike pike with the pass David off first touch, left foot, keeper should have done better, but we'll take it, 1-0 to the Nash, and it's not even five minutes into the game, much better performance so far, 
And hopefully we can keep a clean sheet today. I would like to know a 5 0 draw on lads, because you know, that was a good of bit the league leaders 5 0. I was hoping we were going to do the same against Chester. It was looking on for a little while when we were 2 0 up, but then we fell apart. Kerry plays in Pike. Can Pike get there? Pike! Raquel Pike! He gets the second goal, and we're seven minutes in, and it's a match to Staley Britain Celtic. No! And one of our local rivals are getting absolutely destroyed in the first 10 minutes. Lawton, Kenny, oh what a ball by Kenny. Keeper should have came all the way. He decided not to. Dives after the shot goes past him. Diabolical goalkeeping by them. But the Nash are 2 0 up and are cruising so far. And I do now have a free kick. Can we make this three? Kenny. What will he do with it? He plays it back to Lawton. Kenny. Plays in, David off, David off, he's had the wee work pike, and it's 3 nothing in 10 minutes, 3 goals in 10, it's a double strike for Raquel Pike, with the little uh, arm movement there for the celebration, and the Nash are on fire in the first half, in the first 10 minutes, David off should have scored off the wee work, and Pike, with a beautiful finish, absolutely delightful goal. And a much better performance from the Nash. We have had a team meeting as well, stating that we are underachieving this season. And we are. We should have been up with Kidderminster are here now back top of the league. That's where we should be. We should be up challenging with Chester and that. But hopefully now we're on a run. Uh, we are, what, seven games undefeated so far this season? In, re in recent games. So hopefully we can continue our run. It's looking likely today with the first 10 minutes, oh beautiful ball, Davey drops in, will he square, will he go alone, he goes alone because he's greedy, typical striker, he could have squared out the pike for a hat trick, but yeah, we're 7 games unbeaten, this will make 8 games undefeated this season, that's including draws, so that's pretty good, Kenny with a free kick, rips it in beautifully, Brady brings it down, and Jacobs, the youngster, Gets the fourth goal and we're 27 minutes in. Within half an hour, the Nash are 4-0 up away from home. And seriously, the defending from Stilly Bridge Celtic is absolutely terrible. But we will profit from that all game. Jacobs now with a corner. Pike, penalty ref. And it is indeed. It is indeed. Raquel Pike was brought down. He will hit the penalty. He's on a hat trick. I don't know what his penalty taking is like, but Raquel Pike steps up. Can I get his hat trick? Yes, he can. It's 5 mil and half an hour for the Nash. We beat Kidderminster by 5, and Stilly Brent Celtic are now 5 mil down to the Nash. Beautiful finish. We will take that all day long. Two goals in four minutes. Beautiful performance. And that will help our goal difference dramatically. As we now are trying to cement the playoff spot. Ideally, I don't want playoffs. I would love automatic promotion, but I can't guarantee it. Playoffs was difficult last season. We got knocked out by a team that got promoted. So, you know, we ain't going to complain. ASC took us to the grave. It was a long, lucky game, though. And again, Stilly Bridge, that's their first effort miles wide, I think, on goal. Oh, it's their third shot of the game they have yet to hit the target and at half time we are 5-0 up oh go ahead assistant tell them they have been amazing that's it everyone's looking confident looking calm that's how you want your team to look fitness wise everyone's looking all right chalk's actually looking really fit compared to what i was expecting with his injury in the last game we took him off as soon as he got it because he was went down to like 20% fitness so I got really worried but he's back today, Harbert doesn't get a chance well tough luck on Harbert might bring him on with 20 minutes to go just to uh, give him a little run out and Staley Bridge might come out of the second half here and yeah they hit the corner flag impressive just letting us know they're still there 5-0 down and they get a free kick again. Oh, and Rosario with the save. That's their first effort on goal, I would say. It might record that as on goal. I don't know. But we are re just relaxed now, so no need to stress ourselves out. Right, and Pike's in again. Pike, oh, just wide of the goal. David off with a lovely layoff there. 
and we are cruising at present cruising we don't have to do anything in the second half I could make three changes and just leave it but 9.6 for Raquel Pike 9.1 for David off I do have been booked again he had a shocking game in our last game but I'd already made all my changes and couldn't uh, bring him off he finished with a 6.1 rating which was not good enough for my teams I have two pumps it forward now but easy intercepted Jacobs is there though Pike he returns the ball to David off who will probably have a shot told yet and he hits it well wide he does this every game it drives me bonkers doesn't like the pass young David off Rosario with the goal kick or sorry free kick David off wins it no he doesn't he's usually pretty good in the air young David off uh, Chambers didn't put any pressure on chalk to Booker Booker pumps it forward David off will let that go all day too easy for Bedell and Steely Bridge can mount attack again can we intercept it no and here they're in they're in Wilson oh well why a goal Rosario had that well covered nah I might bring a do off bring Curry on bring Harbert on and then bring Casella on for Chambers maybe maybe yeah that could be the changes we make that could be the changes we make at the 70th minute mark with 20 minutes to go Lawton's just been booked though so we might have to bring Almeida on Jacobs with a free kick pumps it in Lawton was never getting there and easy for Bedell again I still bridge now 5 nil down at half time I'm just playing for pride now but they might get a goal here Wilson's in again Wilson and Rosario stop prevents the goal and they absolutely went right past this there pulls it right apart Rhodes with the corner now for them whips it in Wilson doesn't get there Lawton does and it goes straight back to Rhodes Poof, dangerous cross Roberts gets it the far side though and he lays it back Hutchison the Rhodes Rhodes into Roberts and he pumps it all the way back but first time cross back in and Roberts is there I don't think still bitch realize they're 5-0 down here do they and Roberts Wilson and he's put it well wide I think he was offside as well Wilkinson was offside Rosario with a free kick pumps the ball forward no one there yet again our team at the second half just seemed to have like gone well we're fighting a lot we don't need to play football we can just chill out and I expect it to see him oh Brady Rosario with a save maybe it's time to bring those changes on after this corner kick is taken though I never make changes at a corner because it's always dangerous oh and it's like a ping ball in there and there we go Pike finds David off David off if he waits David off will probably beat his man no nope. and he gives it away and it comes straight back to Booker right I think it's time we make our changes now here we go so tell you what we might just do it by fitness rather than ratings Brady's looking tired so we'll take Brady off and bring Young Harbert on that gives us two young defenders on at the back Lawton's looking tired so we'll bring Almeida on um, boom, 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 boom. do we bring on Kinsella or do we t mm, yeah we'll bring Kinsella on for Chambers I'll let Chambers has a rest he is in his 30s after all Hat trick of changes by us with 15 minutes left on the clock. And they get a corner. They'll probably score from this now because I made my changes, won't they? Oh, Rosario with a big catch. They should have scored from that. They've got quite a tall team by the looks of it, Steely Bridge. We just outplayed in that first half and then we had now done nothing in the second half. Pike actually collected that ball for the first time. I do. He plays it in a line. Chambers just lets it run on. It's like, yeah, I can't bother running off that boss. I'm going to demand a bit more now from our team because, you know, they should, uh, oh, I think I hit push forward instead of demand, oops, it's not what I meant, it's not what I meant, oh, I did, I hit push forward, not demand more, oh, damn it, silly, silly move by me, damn it, damn it, damn it, but we are cruising, I was like, I'm into it now, shots are 10 against our 12, like I mean they've not hit the target five times we've hit it eight but we scored five of those clear two clear cut chances for us none for them so again it's not too bad I do finds David off who finds Pike 
finds David off. Well, he played inside. He was going to go and have a dig. He's going to have a dig. What a surprise. And he hits loads of long range shots and never hits the target. Gets in the box. He's, he's deadly. There we go. Now I can click demand more. There we go. I want more from my team. I want maybe six goals. I said five at the start. Being cocky, you know. We've done five. Now I want six. Come on. Six goals. Come on. Rosario with a cool kick. Davy Doff's up. Davy Doff technically won that because he knocked the two players off it. But they just come straight back. A dude's up and wins. Jacob's never going to get there. Pike isn't even running. And Stilly Bridge come back with the ball. Oh, Wilson skins his man. Wilson skins two men. Kofi. Oh, Hinchcliffe. Puts it like a million miles. Hell went down a tunnel for Christ's sake. Went down the exit stand for the supporters, which there is none for our Stilly Bridge. There they all are. There's all the Stilly Bridge fans. I don't know where the Nash fans are, to be fair. That's kind of worrying. Do we not bring any away fans with us? Look at the runner down the line. Oh, there they are. There's the Nash supporters filling out more than what the Stilly Bridge fans are. Hey. I do. And there it is. Beautiful 5 0 victory against Stilly Bridge Celtic. What a result away from home. Puts us up to sixth in the table. Much better for us. And we're what? No, we're nine points behind Kidderminster. Much, much better. Liking it. 4-4-2 four, four, seems to be the way forward for us. We're up flying up the table. And that's what we like to see. We don't want to be stuck down trying to fight uh, with everything else. So guys, if you've enjoyed this one, hit the thumbs up like button. Leave any comments you wish in the comment section. And of course, as usual, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our football manager content and all our games that will be coming along soon. Well guys, have a good one. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye.